So in this video, we're going to work through the steps of deriving the reduction formula for the integral of the nth power of cosine. And we start by changing the form of this integrand here. So we have cosine to the nth power of x on the left-hand side. If I reduce this power by 1, so I write cosine to the n minus 1 power, I need to multiply by cosine x to make both sides of the equation equivalent. And then applying the integral to both sides. On the left hand side we can see that we have two parts. We have the first part which is cosine to the n minus 1 and we have the second part which is cosine x dx. And I'm sure you'll recall that the integral of two functions of x multiplied together we can find through integration by parts which the rule is the integral of u dv equals u by v minus the integral of v du. So in our integral we can let u equal cosine to the n minus 1 power of x and dv equal cosine of x dx and to find du we can take the derivative of u so we can write du equals so taking the derivative of cosine to the n minus 1, we have n minus 1 by cosine to the n minus 2. So bring the power down, subtract 1 power, and then multiplying by the derivative of the cosine of x, which is sine x. Negative sine x, I should say. Okay, so this is applying the chain rule to this expression, and we complete that by writing dx on the end. And to find v, we need to integrate dv. So v equals the integral of cosine x, which is sine x. Okay, so we have all of the parts, and now we can apply the integration by parts formula. So the integral of cosine to the n minus 1 power by cosine x dx equals cosine to the n minus 1 power u by sine x v minus the integral of v sine x du, which is n minus 1 cosine to the n minus 2 power by sine x, sorry, negative sine x, then dx. Okay, let's clean up the right-hand side a little bit. We have a negative here and a negative here, and these can combine to become a positive. We have a sine x here and a sine x here. So these can combine to become sine of x squared. And we are left with n minus 1 by cosine to the n minus 1 power of x and then dx. All right, so we've got this sine squared x term here, which unless we write in terms of cosine is not very useful. So how can we write this in terms of cosine? Well, we have the Pythagorean identity where sine squared of x plus cosine squared of x equals 1. So we can simply rearrange this equation and write sine squared of x is equal to 1 minus the cosine squared of x. And thus the integrand on the right hand side becomes n minus 1 by cosine to the n minus 1 power by 1 minus cosine squared of x and then we apply the integral. For now I'll just write the first term as dot 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 for convenience. Now what we can do is to expand this term, the n minus 1 by cosine to the n minus 1 power, into the parentheses. So the integrand then becomes n minus 1 by cosine to the n minus 1 power plus, minus I should say, n minus 1 by cosine to the n minus 2 of x by cosine squared x. And I realize I've just made a mistake. This uh, should be n minus 2, and so should this up here, and this term up here. So I apologize for that. All right, so that's n minus 2, n minus 2, n minus 2. Okay, so we have an n minus 2 here by cos squared x. So that simplifies if we just add the indices to become cosine to the n of x, 
first term remains the same n minus 1 by cosine to the n minus 2 of x so then if we apply the integral we can now separate the integrand because we've got effectively two parts here subtracted from each other so we can write this as the integral of n minus 1 by cosine to the n minus 2 of x dx minus the integral of n minus 1 by cosine to the n dx. Let's add the other parts of the equation in there. So we've got cos to the n minus 1 at the front of x by sine x. And on the left hand side of the equation we've got the integral of cos of n cos to the power of n of x dx. Okay, so we've got a cosine to the nth power on the left and a cosine to the nth power on the right. And so we can combine these by taking this term to the left hand side. So we have the integral of cos to the nth power plus n minus 1 by cosine, by the integral of cosine to the nth power. And let's just work with the left hand side for the moment. So note that I've taken the coefficient out the front. So what we have here is 1 and negative 1, and these add to become 0. So that leaves us with n by the integral of cosine to the nth power. And now we can copy all of the terms on the right. So cosine to the n minus 1 power by sine x plus n minus 1. So taking this coefficient outside again by the integral of cosine to the n minus 2 and we're almost there, so to finalize the reduction formula we can simply divide both sides of the equation by n. So on the left we're left with the integral of cos to the nth power of x dx is equal to 1 divided by n by cos to the n minus 1 power of x by sine x plus n minus 1 divided by n by the integral of cos to the n minus 2 of x dx. And thus we have proven the reduction formula for the integral of the nth power of cosine. So if you found this video to be helpful please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel for up and coming videos that may help you with your homework and studies. And I'd appreciate any small donation or tips. The details will be included in the description below. If you have any questions, please use the comments section and ask. So until next time, best of luck with your studies.